What up you weirdos, Fever here. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. This is just going to be a little video if you're having trouble completing the new Hawkmoon mission Harbinger solo without dying. It's more of a quick tip guide for survivability, as long as you're not a potato like me and die from stupid stuff, like walking off a ledge or forgetting how to jump, but we won't mention that anymore. I also found a few little cheeky spots in two main rooms that might help you as well, which I'll show in the video. I'm not sure if the modifiers will change every week, but currently it's memory of a golden age, incoming solar and environmental damage is increased, match gain, chaff, epitaph, which is taking combatants generate blight geysers when defeated, and man that's annoying. Also there's unstoppable champions, but I had no issue dealing with the unstoppables even though I didn't have unstoppable rounds on. For my primary, I used a Nightwatch scout rifle for the range. The secondary, I switched it up a few times. I used the Truth Teller grenade launcher through most of it because there's a lot of void shields, but at the final encounter, I swapped between the trusty Solar Scout rifle for the Knights and the Last Perdition Void Pulse rifle for the Acolytes. The heavy, I went with Anarchy, but that's only because it's what I had available at the moment, that was Ark. And to make sure I covered every element, I used the Solar Subclass. The mods I recommend for this are Stacks on Stacks, Supercharged, Protective Light, and Shield Break Charge. The Protective Light mod gives you extra survivability, especially if you're like me and run low resilience. Those Vandals hurt. It reads, while charged with light, you gain significant damage resistance against combatants when your shields are destroyed. This effect consumes all stacks of charge with light. The more stacks consumed, the longer the damage resistance lasts. To become charged with light, I was using shield break charge. This one reads, become charged with light by breaking a combatant shield with the matching energy type. And because it seems like everything in here has a shield, I was pretty much charged with light the whole time. The stacks on stacks and supercharged mods are for the extra charged with light stacks, because the more you have, the longer protective light works. I did everything as normal in the first encounter and tried to stay up high away from the ads, but when you get into the... I guess we'll call it arena where it says survive. There's a rock that you can hide behind if you get in trouble. It seemed like none of the enemies would come back there. If you position yourself just right, you're safe from the snipers. The only thing I had to worry about was the Axion darts from the Taking Cabal. Once I got rid of the snipers and Taking Cabal in each wave, the champions would walk up to the rock but not go behind it. Sometimes they would just stand there and let me anarchy them to death. It was kind of weird. After you make your way through the jumping portion and into the final room with the Taken Knight, once the boss is immune, the adds will continue spawning until you kill the two Solar Shield Knights on the left and right, so try to get rid of them as fast as possible. There is a head glitch spot you could sit at, but be careful because fire did hit me occasionally. When it did, the protective light kicked in and saved my booty. A little side note, I did try to kill adds closer to where I was standing so I could run out and get ammo if need be. Because I did this a few times without the head glitch, and it was fine, but I was getting booped all over the place when trying to collect the ammo. It was more of an annoyance than anything, and that's why I decided to stay back. Just take your time and don't rush any of this. You'll get it. I know this video wasn't deep in the description, but I didn't see the need for a 10 minute video about it. Let me know in the comments section if this build helped you out, or any other cool little spots you may have stumbled on. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, you know the drill. But above everything else, just be a good person to one another and have a fantastic day. Thank you.